Hello everybody, welcome to Sertuas Accounting Lessons PH and this is Lecture 6, International Accounting Standard 7, Statement of Cash Flows. Let's start. So the objective of IAS 7 is to require the presentation of information about the historical changes in cash and cash equivalents of an entity by means of a statement of cash flows, which classifies cash flows during the period according to operating activities, investing activities, and financing activities. Now, IAS 7 separates, or I mean the statement of cash flows is separately being discussed in a separate standard. So it's not included in uh, IAS 1, Presentation of Financial Statements. And if you remember our discussion in IAS 1, the statement of cash flows is the only financial statement prepared under the cash basis of accounting and uh, purely because we're talking about cash flow information. Okay? Now, the fundamental principle in IAS 7 says that all entities that prepare financial statements in conformity with the IFRS are required to uh, are required as well to present a separate statement of cash flows. Okay? Now, the statement of cash flows analyzes changes in cash and cash equivalents during a period. So, with the beginning balance of cash and cash equivalents, what are the cash inflows and outflows that had happened, and then what is the ending balance? And the ending balance of your cash in the statement of cash flows should be equal or it should uh, it should be the same amount that you report as cash and cash equivalents in your statement of financial position as at a certain reporting period. Now, Pag-aaralan nyo rin po itong mga terminologies and phrases na ito when you turn intermediate account or when you turn into intermediate accounting. So, when we say cash and cash equivalents, these are cash on hand and demand deposits together with short-term highly liquid investments that are readily convertible into a known amount of cash and are subject to an and are subject to an insignificant risk of changes in value. That's your main definition of a cash and cash equivalent. Now, the guidance notes of IAS 7 states that an investment normally meets the definition of a cash equivalent when it has a maturity of three months or less from the date of acquisition. Okay? So, cash equivalent po siya kapag kang maturity niya three months or less from the date of acquisition. Equity investments are normally excluded unless they are in substance rather than its form a cash equivalent. So, substance over form po tayo dito. No? But there are other equity investments na talagang pag mas longer na or iba na po yung kanyang substance, then that is not a cash equivalent anymore. We have a separate discussion about uh, equity investments. Okay? And then bank overdrafts which are repayable on demand and which form an integral part of an entity's cash management are also included as a component of cash and cash equivalents. Now, in terms of the discussion of what is included as a cash and cash equivalent, it is a separate discussion in intermediate accounting. So what we will be focusing here is your general requirements in presenting a statement of cash flows. Cash flows must be analyzed between operating, investing, and financing activities. I think this is just only a review for all of you, more so for uh, everyone or every student who have taken a statement of cash flows class in their senior high school. Kasi may cash flow preparation na dun eh. So we, we focus more here on what the standards tell you about, on what the standard tell you, uh, tells you about the statement of cash flows preparation. Now, let's go back. Ano po ba yung operating, investing, and financing activity? Operating activities are the main revenue-producing activities of the entity that are not investing or financing activities. So, operating cash flows include cash received from customers and cash paid to suppliers and employees. Basically, transactions that you report in terms of operations and financial performance kasi nga po, main revenue-producing activity, pumapasok po siya sa operating activities. Investing activities are acquisition and disposal of long-term assets and other investments that are not considered to be cash equivalent. So kapag ka po yung cash inflows and outflows nyo usually related sa mga items na nasa non-current assets, ayan, investing activities po yan. Meanwhile, Financing activities are activities that alter the equity capital and borrowing structure of the entity. So lahat po ng inyong uh, cash flow na related sa mga current uh, mga non-current liabilities kasi pag current liabilities usually nasa operating yun eh no yung mga cash flow 
related sa current liabilities, that's operating pa rin yun. Pero yung mga nagkakaroon ka na ng borrowing or nag issue ka na ng equity shares, nag issue ka na ng shares, no? If it alters the equity capital and borrowing structure of the entity, so basically cash flow transactions that relates to your long-term uh, liabilities or equity, doon na po siya papasok sa financing activities. Okay, but I know naman na alam nyo na yung difference between the three, no? Differences between the three. Now, in case of interest and dividends received and paid, pwede siyang operating, investing, or financing. Pero please daw po, depende rin syempre sa nature ng transaction. So, nagkakaroon tayo ng uh, freedom kung saan nilalagay. Sinabi naman ng standard, provided they are classified consistently from period to period. Now, cash flow arising from taxes on income are usually operating kasi nga po, nagka-tax ka because of your operations, because of your income and expenses, unless kaya po ng entity to specifically identify certain transactions that relates to financing or investing activities, you can present them separately. For operating cash flows, the direct method of presentation is encouraged kasi it gives you more direct information that is easier for the users to understand. As in, cash paid for ganito, for ganitong expense, or cash received from customers, very direct talaga. So, nagiging mas user-friendly siya. Although, the indirect method, which which starts with your net income, adding back depreciation, uh, and then your operating capital before working capital changes, and then you adjust them to increases or decreases in current assets and current liabilities, acceptable din po yun, no? Usually po, kapag ka direct method kasi ng statement of cash flows, ang tawag po dyan user-friendly, kasi mas madaling maintindihan on the perspective of the user of the FS. Pero kapag ka naman po indirect method, mas madali sa accountant, kasi manggagali lang siya sa accrual basis income statement, Tapos siya, adjust-adjust nyo lang yung mga items papunta sa cash flow from operating activities. Kaya accountant-friendly naman po yung indirect method. Okay? Now, kapag ka po direct method, you explicitly state kung ano po yung naging cash inflows and cash outflows relating to your operating activities. So, the standard gives us an example like this. So, somehow it would appear like this. Pero kapag ka naman po in direct method, you start with your net income, but basically your profit before interest and taxes. You add back depreciation and impairment and then any increases and decreases in your uh, current assets and current liabilities until you get to your net cash from operating activities. Okay? So, I hope na-discuss po sa inyo ng senior high school kung paano mag-prepare ng cash flows under direct method at saka indirect method. Kung kung medyo kailangan nyo ng review on how to prepare the statement of cash flows, may FABM2 video naman po tayo dito kung paano gumawa ng statement of cash flows na may amounts. <laughs> okay? Kasi hindi natin covered yan dito sa CFAS. Okay? Yun po. Then, other key principles... The exchange rate used for translation of transactions denominated in a foreign currency should be the rate in effect of the date of the cash flows. Investing and financing transactions which do not require the use of cash should be excluded from the statement of cash flows. No, Meron po kasi tayong mga investing and financing activities na hindi, uh, I mean, na wala siyang cash flow. No? Investing and financing activity siya, pero hindi siya cash flow. Anong sabi ng standard? They should be separately disclosed elsewhere in the financial statements but do not put them in the statement of cash flows on the mere fact na wala nga siyang cash flow eh. Diba? So, huwag mo siya lalagay sa statement of cash flow kasi wala nga siyang cash flow. Disclose mo na lang. Describe mo yung transaction. And then, entity shall provide disclosures that enable user of financial statements to evaluate changes and liabilities arising from financing activities. So, dapat daw po may disclosure para maintindihan ang changes in liabilities arising from financing activities. The components of cash and cash equivalents should also be disclosed in a separate note and a reconciliation between uh, presented to amounts reported in the statement of financial position. And the amount of cash and cash equivalents held by the entity that is not available for use by the group of the entity, by the group, it will be the parent and subsidiaries. It should also be disclosed together with the management commentary. Okay, let's have a short quiz about our discussion on IAS 7. Number one, a statement of cash flows when used in conduct... In con- <laughs> Sorry, ulit. 
A statement of cash flows, when used in conjunction with the rest of the financial statements, provide information that enables users to evaluate what? Letter C. The entity's ability to affect the amounts and timing of cash flows in order to adapt to changing circumstances and opportunities. Number two. Investments normally quali- qualify, I'm sorry, nagbabakal na ako, as a cash equivalent only when they have a short maturity of what? Letter C, three months or less from the date of acquisition. Number three, which of the following is an item that can be seen in the direct method of the statement of cash flows? Alin po dyan yung direct method? Tingin nyo. Letter C, kasi directly mo sinabi na ito yung cash received from customers. Yung mga operating income before working capital changes, net income amount or profit before interest and taxes, Increase in receivables, increase or decreases in current assets and liabilities, lahat po yan nasa indirect method ng presentation ng operating part ng statement of cash flows. Number four, statement one, investing and financing transactions which do not require the use of cash should be included in the statement of cash flows. Statement two, investing activities that are, uh, are the acquisition rather, and disposal of long-term assets and other investments that are not considered to be cash equivalents. So pause the video if you need more time and play it again when you're ready. The correct answer is letter B. Statement 1 is false because ang sabi po natin, if the investing and financing transactions ay walang related na cash flow, hindi mo siya ilalagay sa statement of cash flows. It should be a separate disclosure. And then statement, ah sorry, statement 1 is false. Statement 2 po pala yan. I'm sorry, nagkaroon po tayo ng... Um, Medyo typo, pero statement to po yun. Now, if you want to know more, so first, kung gusto nyo reviewin kung paano talaga gumawa ng statement of cash flows, we have an FABM2 video for that for senior high school. So, balikan nyo po yun. Statement of cash flows. And then, for updates and financial reporting standards playlist, yung medyo pang higher accounting na atake po natin about the statement of cash flows. But if you are already interested about cash presentation and how to compute the items that is included in the statement of financial position regarding cash and cash equivalents, you can also go to the intermediate accounting playlist, discussion po natin ng cash and cash equivalents, part 1, cash and cash equivalent items. All of those are provided in the description box as to their links. Yun lamang po. Maraming salamat. And our next lesson is IAS 8, Accounting Policies, Changes in Accounting Estimates and Errors. Again, please like, share, and subscribe to Search Was Accounting Lessons PH and hit the notification bell button and comment down your questions, suggestions, and reactions for this video. This has been Search Was Accounting Lessons PH. To God be all the glory, honor, and praise. Thank you and have a great day.